guys, it's Ben the Hen here, and today we're going to be drawing the Stiga Moloch from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So let's get started. So we're going to be starting off with the shape of the head, which is mostly an oval-like shape that's going to be facing down. Next, we're going to be drawing in the neck, which is considerably long, considering it is quite a small dinosaur belonging to the Pachycephalosaurid family. Next, we're going to draw two circles for the body. The first circle indicating the place where the arm is going to be. In this style of drawing, I'm just only going to see, you are only going to see, one arm. You may actually be able to see two legs, though. So, let's get into that later. So here, I'm drawing in the two circles. First circle, as I said, is where the arm is. The second circle is the area of the body where you're going to be drawing in the foot, the thigh, as I would say, and or where the tail would connect. So here we're drawing in the two circles. The two circles are relatively big compared to the body or the neck. And here we're going to leave a little gap between the circle and the tail and draw in the tail. The tail, as you see on the end, is actually rounded and not actually sharp like the tail of maybe a Spinosaurus or Velociraptor, you could say. So now we're going to be continuing on with the thigh and the rest of the foot. So here we're going to draw a little circle for the ankle and join, go around that to make the actual ankle shape. And then we're going to be drawing in the big muscly thigh or the bottom of the thigh. Th thigh. Thigh. <laughs> I mean, uh, next we're going to be drawing in the ankle. I meant thigh. Next, we're going to be drawing in the ankle, and in this drawing, well, in this image, or from the point you're viewing the dinosaur, you can see two claws, and we're going to be drawing them in, add in the padding underneath the claws, and then connect, join everything up with the ankle or the other foot, the, the bottom of the foot. And then after adding a little bit more refinement, I'm going to be lightly erasing the two circles so we can actually draw in and finish up all the actual lineage of the body. So we're just going to connect the two circles with a line and then join that line into the neck. So in that part, you're going to see a little curve, but we'll do that later. At the moment, we're going to be drawing in the little bump that the tail at the end of the tail it has and joining up with all the shadowing underneath the leg uh, underneath the neck and underneath the head so next we're going to be drawing in the basic shape of the arm there's no real way to describe the arm it's just a, a arm a dinosaur arm it's well it's quite short but it's actually pretty long compared to T-Rex arms or Carnotaurus arms even. You can't really see its claws or fingernails, but you can just see these four sharp points at the end of the foot. So there you see the curve that I was talking about that leads up to the, connects the neck to the body. Next, we're going to lightly erase the head to draw in all the details of the head and actually add the dome, the spikes, and the beak to make it actually look like a Stiggy Moloch. So here I'm refining in the lower jaw and connecting a little piece of skin under in the neck that connects to the lower jaw. Here I'm going to be drawing in the two tiny spikes on its lower jaw and continuing along upwards for all the spikes on the back of its head. So it has a really big spike right here on the front of its head and it has a smaller spike in the back and another really big spike coming from the other side of the head uh, literally above the smaller spike. So here I'm just drawing in the dome so I get a better angle on how to do the spikes. Uh, just erasing the dome a little bit making it look more like a Stiggy Moloch dome. Here I'm drawing in the front of the head. Here actually we're going to be drawing in tiny tiny little spikes but we'll get to that later. So draw in the bottom of the dome and now we're going to be drawing in the beak. The beak is like any dinosaur beak, like how you draw a triceratop beak. The beak is going to be open. You could see the other side of the beak inside the bottom 
beak. The top beak is actually top part of the beak is actually cur curved, and the Stiggy Moloch's mouth looks like it's actually open. So now we're going to be refining in the beak first of all, and then sort of refining in the top jaw and the bottom jaw, making it look even more like a Stiggy Moloch, curving the bottom jaw a little bit more, and then adding the little horn that the Stiggy Moloch has on its top of its head. The horn is actually rounded, not sharp, just like the tail, uh, so it doesn't really use it to like stab anyone like its nose or something the sticky moloch is a part of the pa pachycephalosaurid family here we're drawing in the nose so it bangs people with its head next we're going to be people or things whatever <laughs> next we're going to be drawing in the hole the indent where the eye is going to be and adding in two more horns on the back of its head next we're going to be drawing in the eye the eye is basically a a lemon shape again with a tiny highlight on the right hand side and coloring in everything else black. The Stiggy Moloch is one of those dinosaurs where you just look at it, you know it's a fierce dinosaur, it could kill you at any moment by hitting you in the chest, but it just looks cute. I, I don't know why, <laughs> it just looks cute. So we're going to be refining in the head and the neck, refining in the body, the tail, slightly and refining in the other the leg and the arm so here we're just refining in the thighs the muscles and the foot next we're going to be refining in right about now we're going to next we're going to be refining in the claws and then we're going to be refining the other l hand which is visible and ha remember how i just added this big oval as the front part of the hand we're not going to be covering over that part because it looks like I drew it instead of making it look realistic next we're going to be adding in lines around the arm and the thigh and adding in muscle lines all throughout the body the arms the legs and the tail at this point our Stiggy Moloch is looking pretty awesome so we're going to be adding in shading and details so here we're going to be drawing in tiny, tiny bumps that the Stiggy Moloch has on top of its head. Three of them all going across the top portion of the Stiggy Moloch. And the last one, of course, being the longest one going across the top of the head, the eye. Next, we're going to be draw shading for the dome, adding in a small little vein, which will soon be covered up by the pattern we're going to give our Stiggy Moloch, and adding in shading beneath the neck, the top of the neck, the tail, the bottom of the leg, and continuing onwards with the foot. With the tiny little lines I'm drawing on the tail and continuously erasing them, uh, you can see here that I'm just making the lines make it look like the actual tail is more three definition 3d so this would be a good time to pause the video click that like button hit that bell notification and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already let's see if you could do it five four three two one comment down below if you actually did that because at the moment we're drawing in the top portion of its body that's going to be shaded in to make it look like it has a pretty cool pattern. This was the pattern I'm, I was talking about because it covered the vein, sort of, and here we're going to be, well, erasing the outer border, so in case I smeared something while I was drawing the pattern on the Stiggy Moloch, uh... It would have been erased. So here, more refinement in the tail. And I'm going to be drawing in a little line on the bottom of the jaw. Drawing shading into the beak. And basically just refining, going over everything. Adding the floor that the Stiggy Moloch is going to be standing on. So it's not just floating in midair. And add the shadow that the Stiggy Moloch is going to be, well, producing. Here I'm just drawing little little scales all over the body 
Here some on its face, some on its rib cage area, some on its um, tail, some on its foot, and continuing forward with that. This was the part where we're just adding a little bit more shadow, a little bit more shading, a little bit more muscle lines, refinement, scales, and everything else. So I'm not going to just put you guys in the torture of watching this. Uh, if you guys do, make sure you slow down the video and watch every single step I'm doing. If not, I'm just going to speed it up for you right about now. So this would be a good time to do my end card. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If you guys want, you can send me your art. I'll have some kind of email, Gmail, down in the description. And I just hope you guys just enjoyed this, enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. That would be awesome. And yeah, comment down below what I should draw next. This Stiggy Moloch was completely out of, well, not my imagination, but completely my own thinking so if you guys do want me to draw something else except for dinosaurs or maybe some cool variety of dinosaur from one of your favorite games I'm pretty sure I can do that just leave it down in the comments below we are so close to hitting 50 subscribers I went completely off topic we're so close to hitting 50 subscribers uh keep up the good work guys if you I have a really special poster type idea uh, when we hit 50 subscribers, I hope you guys would enjoy it. Uh, and I'll also do many more tutorials in the future. And I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Sign your drawing. And as always, keep on clucking. I'll see you in the next one. By the way, that was rushed.